Hello guys, welcome back. So today I have a favorites video for you and I've got some good favorites. I don't have like a ton, but I have a lot that I really love and things that have really stood out to me that I'm excited to share with you guys. But I also wanted to do a little giveaway for you. I feel like I haven't done like a YouTube giveaway in so long. Two separate, they're like the same vibe. So I have like a bag kind of full of some goodies in here. I have like my favorite phone cases in here, some makeup in here. We also have a kitsch pillowcase I'm gonna include it's a king size. I have this Dange Dover little crossbody bag. This is it. It's just adorable. It's great for summer. It's a neutral color, easy to pair with whatever. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. Be sure you're subscribed and give this video a like as well. And if you want to, you can head over to my Instagram to let me know you entered. And if you want to leave your Instagram handle down below in the comments, that would be amazing. Um, just along with your comment, that way I know an easy way to reach you. Sometimes trying to reach out in YouTube comments gets lost. So it's good to go ahead and leave your Instagram handle so I can instantly DM you, get your info super quickly. If you're interested, I'll leave, again, all that stuff down below just a little giveaway as a thank you for being here and we're gonna get started with our favorites let's first start off with like the banger of the last month I changed up my skincare routine and when I tell you I've seen a major difference I'm not Playing. I think the main one that everybody talks about is this one right here. This is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This gives your skin a gorgeous glow, but it just like transforms your skin texture. My skin texture has never been smoother, softer, like pleasant. So pleasant. And when I don't do these products, if I skip a day, if I just like don't wash my face one day because I'm tired, sometimes I just go right to bed. Especially if I'm not wearing makeup, which I know is kind of like taboo. Sometimes it happens and I notice the biggest difference when I don't do my skincare routine And so my routine basically has been I will go in with this first the Paula's Choice BHA Amazing. It's a bestseller like everybody loves this stuff. And then I will go in with this Paula's Choice 10% um, Azalic acid Ooh, I don't know if I said that completely right, but this is supposed to help with redness. It's a booster product. It says it clarifies an even skin tone. You can apply once or twice daily. It's fragrance-free, not animal tested. I feel like I've noticed a difference with my redness as I've used this. I really do like it, and I've used quite a bit of it. And then these two, I alternate. So the vitamin C, the Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster, it's a 15% vitamin C with vitamin E. This is brightens tone for a radiant complexion. I use this in the morning, so I apply a couple drops every single morning before I apply like my moisturizer and my sunscreen, and I've been really enjoying it. And I was a little bit nervous because normally I don't apply things like this before makeup because sometimes it just doesn't sit well underneath. No issues with this. I feel like it really sinks into the skin fairly quickly, especially after you do your moisturizer and your sunscreen. If you just wait like five to 10 minutes, you're good to go. Like this one right here, I would not apply underneath my makeup, but it is so good at night. And this one I feel like I noticed the biggest difference with, especially like in the morning, hydration wise, because I can really feel and see how hydrated my skin is in the morning. This is the Paula's Choice Niacinamide. It's the 20% treatment. It just seriously moisturizes the heck out of my skin. But again, I would not use this during the day because my makeup would never last with this. But I'm telling you, it gives the most amazing glow, keeps your skin hydrated. It's just so freaking good. These are like my top four. I also love, I think I've mentioned it in a favorites video before, but she has like a, um, I'll leave it down below. It's a cleanser that I believe is specifically for oily skin and it's always on sale. It's like on sale for I think like $15 or something. Go get it. It is so good. Speaking of favorites. These little simple modern, mine has some watermarks on it, but this simple modern cup, this is 50 ounces. If I'm at home, even if I'm not at home, I'll like throw this in my car. I always drink this because I just know how much water I'm getting and I love how cute they are. It comes with like a matching straw, but mine was kind of dirty, so <laughs> I had to use a clear acrylic one, but I love these. Next up to go along with skincare. If you struggle with bagne, you need to go get this product right now. And the last time I saw it, it was on sale on Amazon. It was like under 20 bucks. I think it was on Prime 2. This is the salicylic acid body spray 2% from Naturium, I believe. Daily salicylic acid acne treatment to clear and prevent new blemishes. I've had a ton of questions about this. So I shared it a few weeks ago on my Instagram. 
and honestly within a few days I saw results but I didn't want to like go straight into it like telling people that because I didn't know if it was like a you know fluke or something so I've been using it for a few weeks and it has been amazing my back has not been so clear in a minute now you if you followed me for however long you know I've always struggled with like back acne that'll just like randomly happen it's the most annoying thing and I absolutely hate it and this product is amazing the spray on it's amazing I've used another one that was actually from Paula's Choice that it didn't work as well for me. I don't know what it was. I feel like they had very similar ingredients, but the spray on this is way better, especially when you're spraying upside down like this. It's no issue to do it with this one. I feel like it just really cleared up my back. It was amazing. It's the only thing I have changed in my entire routine, and my back looks great. It's like a night and day difference. I am so happy that I got this. This doesn't have a scent or anything. It's it's very pleasant to apply. I What I like to do though is I'll apply it after my shower when my back is dry and I let it completely dry itself on my skin. You know what I mean? Like I don't try to put a top on over it. I just like wait for it to dry. I love this brand. Okay, so this is the first like oil perfume that I bought. This one's the salt one. It's the soothing scented body oil. Now listen, if I applied this all over my body and I was walking around you, I would probably knock you out because it is so strong. Like I literally apply this just kind of like on my wrist, maybe my neck, and I can smell it all day long. I know there's some reviews I've seen where people apply it all over their body. I'm like, damn, that's a lot. Like it is scented. I just got the one that's the yellow one too. Oh my gosh, what's it called? Is it summer fruit? Uh, I believe so, but I had gotten it off of free people because I had not seen it before. I love the yellow one scent wise a little bit more. This is definitely like more of a clean scent though. There's nothing wrong with it. It does smell really, it's like a powdery clean. So if you don't like that, you'll like the summer fruit. I hope that's the name more. It's definitely like a very summery, yummy scent, but the oils last so long and I've just been really enjoying it. For summer, this is a necessity. If you love the glow and you want your legs to glow, if you want SPF while you're glowing, all of that. This is the Super Goop Glow Screen Body SPF 40. This has the most beautiful glow ever so it does have like some shimmer in there but i'm telling you it looks so stunning on your leg love that it's spf 40 so easy just apply all over on your shoulders next chest um your leg you'll have that really gorgeous glow it's not sticky at all either it sets into the skin really nicely but it keeps you hydrated and just looking so healthy you can't even really tell but it's so pretty it is so such a gorgeous product. It's not like overly shimmery where like it's just annoyingly in your face. It's so subtle. On your legs, it is stunning. It's so nice. It just livens up the skin. You know what I mean? Definitely get it for summer. It's a must have. I used it all last summer, especially when I was doing try-ons at Rosy Days. And I'm still using it this summer because I think it's beautiful. So this one's in the package, but I've been using it a ton this month. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know the new Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. In my last video where I tried this out, that was like a couple weeks ago, so I apologize for that being delayed so long. This one is so good. Now, my one that I was using, so 355 is definitely my shade. But I had a tragedy and it dropped on the floor and shattered the bottle. So I'm waiting for my other one to come in because I had gotten a new one when it was on sale on their website. This foundation, you guys, is incredible. I mean, full coverage. I knew too. I knew in that trying new makeup video. I knew when I tried it on, I was like, mm, this is about to be a really good one. If you have texture, it doesn't emphasize that texture. It gives you a gorgeous glow. It's really thin, lightweight. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna test it out and see if it's better than my NARS Light Reflecting. My NARS Light Reflecting is pretty dang good, so I'm not gonna go there, but it's right up there with it, like top two for sure. I wanna shout out this one though. This is such a good one. I actually used this over the weekend again, and I was like, man, I keep reminding myself why I love it every time I just like go back to it. It's the Juvia's Place um, I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. This just has such great coverage, and it looks really gorgeous on the skin. I have been loving it, like obviously. These cream blushes, I had bought another one when the Sephora cell came around, but I love them. The Danessa Myricks, what are these called? Yummy Skin Cream Blushes. So I have Jubilee and Bellini. I love both of them. They are stunning on the skin. I applied this before. I apply like my powder and stuff. They last all day. I think between the two colors, Bellini is my favorite because Bellini is just like my kind of color. They're so pigmented. They're really beautiful. They just last really well. They're not too creamy to where they're like slick on the skin. They last all day. They show through the powder. 
absolutely love these if you have not tried this one you definitely need to I have to shout out the product of well I don't want to say product of the month but maybe no because the Lancome foundation is really good this is a really top product for the month and I did an Instagram video if you don't follow me on Instagram go follow me there because that's like daily content but I was on Instagram and I shared that I think this is an absolute dupe for the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. If you love Too Faced Peach Perfect, you're gonna wanna try this. It's the Amicole Skin Melt Loose Powder. It is, the shade is translucent that I use and it is so beautiful and blurring. I did a side by side with both the powders. Incredible, and I think it's like $22. It's incredible. If you've been looking for a dupe for Too Faced Peach Perfect, go run, do not walk and get this. And if you're looking for a video where like I demoed it, I actually uploaded all that to my like to know it so you can go there and like see the difference in my skin. I'll leave that link down below if you're curious, but love it. It's so good. Now, one product I have not talked to you guys about because I got it in and I just started using it. It's this Dior Forever Velvet Veil um, is there blurring matte primer? I totally agree with that. This is a blurring matte primer. It's also got a tint to it and it's just stunning. It feels really good on the skin. It's just so nice and it's a velvety feel. Stunning. I feel like my makeup does look really good with this. This with the long comb is beautiful and I do like that it has a tint it kind of tones down the redness just a little bit that way I don't have to use like as much foundation to cover it up it's expensive and pricey but it's a really good primer and I've been loving it the Kosas Beachy Sun Show bronzer I thought that this is gonna be too dark for me and I was completely wrong it is so pretty it is definitely like back from the beach your tan stunning love it it's so gorgeous this baked bronzer is literally insane i feel like swatched it doesn't do it as much justice as like just putting it on your skin blends like a dream and is so smooth i don't love a ton of kosas products i don't know i just haven't really vibed with anything but this winner winner chicken dinner i have to shout this out my dibs beauty stick okay wait is it called dibs beauty stick what is this called well i call it Dibs Beauty Stick, but it's their duo. So I believe I have a 15% off coupon with them. I'll see if it works, but I think it was like KC15. I'll have to ask them if it's still active or not. But basically, I love these. I've been using them for like over a year now, I think. So it's a duo. So you have a contour on one side and you have a blush on the other. The one that I love, which is this one, is 5.5. These are, which, where's my brush? Oh, it's downstairs. Their duo brush, too. It's always sold out, but it's so good. That duo brush is like the softest brush ever. And it is a joy to blend like cream bronzer anything out i love it i use it all the time it's downstairs in my everyday makeup bag like amazing i'll link it below love it i love a bold blush and then this is the contour everything about these just blend like a dream they're so easy to work with i feel like if you're new with makeup and new with wanting to try cream contours definitely give these a try they are so easy to work with it's a two-in-one product their lip liners are amazing too if you haven't tried them i love their lip glosses as well a lot of great things from this brand if you have not tried out dips but this one right here again 5.5 so easy to work with I mean if you don't want to think about it you just want to draw it on and blend it out that's the product for you last thing I want to mention to you guys for my favorites video today the impress press on falsies I'm wearing these right now I've been wearing them consistently since I tried this out basically false lashes you don't have to put glue on they have like little glue here on the tips of the band and you apply them underneath your lash which listen I used to be scared of that I was like why are people doing that and then I tried it out not too long ago with flutter habit lashes and then I saw these where you don't even have to apply glue which is even better and it's just so easy to put them under there press them together they come with the tool or you can get or you can get some refill packs without the tool I have a ton of these tools because the voluminous is like my favorite one the glamorous ones they're very very dramatic I would say those are good for like if I'm doing a full glam look but for days like today where I just want my lashes to look a little bit more amped up voluminous is the way to go I feel like they're so pretty and they're kind of sectioned off into like long and then is it called long and medium is that what they call it Oh yeah, so they have medium and long. Long is what I use. I use probably like three longs on the outer part of my lash just to kind of give that cat eye effect. Then I take a medium on the inner corner so that way it's just like a gradual effect. That way it just looks like a normal false lash kind of thing. They're basically all little half lashes so if you wanted to do a couple you could stop there. I do a full lash because that's just who I am. These are stunning. They're so easy to apply. I did a reel showing these as well. I'll leave that video down below. They're great and they're so easy to just amp up that natural lash that you already have. And they're not hard to take off or anything either. Like they're very comfortable 
simple, easy to apply. I can't say enough good things about them. That is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, I'll leave the rules and stuff in the description box if you're curious. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.